Hi, I'm Dr. Isaac Sasson with Shady Grove Fertility in our Philadelphia offices. I find that when most patients come to the office, they don't know where babies really come from. However, I think a basic understanding of reproductive physiology is important because it serves as the foundation for our diagnostic testing and treatment options. To have a baby, you need the following pieces. A brain, a uterus, and fallopian tubes, ovaries, and sperm. At the beginning of a menstrual cycle, the brain makes a hormone called FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. FSH acts on the small antral follicles of the ovary, which each contain an egg that can potentially result in a pregnancy. The follicles start the cycle less than 10 millimeters in size. In response to FSH, one of them grows to 20 millimeters and produces estrogen. Estrogen acts on the lining of the uterus to grow and signals to the brain that an egg is ready to be released. The brain responds by producing a hormone called LH. This is your mid-cycle surge and 24 hours after the LH appears, the egg is ovulated from its dominant follicle. It's then picked up by the fallopian tube, where it will live for 24 hours. If you have intercourse at the time of the LH surge, sperm will be waiting in the fallopian tube for the egg to arrive. If one of those sperm fertilizes the egg, an embryo is formed. That embryo will live in the fallopian tube for five days, after which it's transported into the uterus. If it avoids detection by your immune system and attaches to your blood supply, it will start producing HCG, or pregnancy hormone. And this will disrupt the cycle from happening again. 